ETZ hat jetzt äh, insgesamt 20 Jahre auf dem Buckel. Das ist auf der einen Seite viel, auf der anderen noch nicht viel, wenn man sich überlegt, welche Herausforderungen es eigentlich noch gibt. Man muss sich immer wieder in Erinnerung rufen, hier in Central Europe hat es bis vor 20 Jahren einen eisernen Vorhang gegeben. Das hat wirklich die Leute abgeschnitten und getrennt. Ähm, deswegen sind wir noch in der Mitte des Weges, aber das ist ja Unsere Fahrt ist doch noch lange nicht abgeschlossen und ich glaube, jetzt ist die Phase einmal vorbei, wo man sich gegenseitig kennengelernt hat und gelernt hat, miteinander zu arbeiten, zu kooperieren und jetzt sollte man darauf aufbauen, wirklich ganz konkrete Problemstellungen nachhaltig zu lösen und da gibt es noch sehr, sehr viel zu tun. After 89, the situation was completely changed because the, uh, uh, it was the, the new time where the partners, they, uh, they, uh, they started to live in the normal democratic open world. So they uh, became in fact partners, partners of the, uh, of the cooperation. So the European Territorial Cooperation uh, in fact started in this moment the new, new period. It means Uh, it was the continuity comparing to the Western Europe, but it was the new opening uh, as far as concerns the Eastern Europe and of course the new wave and new uh, uh, expectations, but also new hopes. So uh, 89 was the moment when the uh, The local and regional authorities, they, they, they started to be active in a very in a completely different role. In my region, for example, nous avons commencé avec les projets interreg traditionnels qui ont fait coopérer les, les zones de montagne surtout. Euh, D'abord sur des études, ça a commencé par des études, après ça a été euh, des, des vrais projets de coopération. Euh, et euh, entre les régions frontalières, il y a eu coopération dans le domaine de, culturel, des transports, dans le domaine euh, des, des politiques euh, de l'eau, des politiques infrastructurelles, etc. Euh, successivement, euh, on a été très influencé aussi par les interrègles 2 euh, et 3, c'est-à-dire par les projets qui ont vu, euh, qui ont vu coopérer les régions et non seulement les zones frontalières. Euh, et ça, ça a été déjà très intéressant parce que ça a donné lieu à des projets plus importants. Et, euh, et en troisième lieu, euh, on a eu la possibilité de créer des réseaux. And I think it was sort of substantiated by the evidence of the evaluators that in the end said something that we basically with 1% of the budget of the EU touched at, at least on the lives of 2% of the EU population. I think that's quite an achievement. We basically done twice as much as you could expect. With the 15 or 17,000 projects, we don't even know exactly how many projects we have. Uh, over all of the ETC, I think we touched on many, many people's lives with not the biggest amount of money. and. Um, creating a lot of, you know, European feeling, something you will never reach with uh, directives or stuff like that. You will reach that with developments, with you know, looking at challenges and uh, investing in opportunities that lie around in Europe. We look at the cohesion policy as such, is the most European action. Uh, when I say European, it means that this really, uh, it's really international, it's really European, because it requires the cooperation between minimum two partners from different states. So when we think about Europe as the common activity, so this kind of action, like which is the European territorial cooperation, is, is, it can, can open completely new possibilities. For a while, the European territorial cooperation in terms of money is very, very marginal, is very limited, it's very symbolic. It means that this is the uh, activity which, with, with a very little amount of money, can give a very important political effect. A mio avviso i progetti che fanno la differenza sono quelli che eh, nascono veramente da un'esigenza della comunità e che nascono anche da, dalle esigenze contingenti, la crisi economica, ma anche l'adeguamento climatico. Eh, città che si mettono assieme e discutono per avere un migliore servizio di autobus che inquina meno. Questa è una possibilità che un programma come un programma interregionale o transnazionale può fare. 
piccole e medie imprese che cercano di eh, essere più forti di fronte alle grandi multinazionali per tutelarsi e per, avere, per creare, per avere tra di loro, per essere più forti.